Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a 13 part video series showing you how to create ESLM house. Let's get started. So to start, let's open a new architecture template. And once it's open, let's go to the architecture and click on grid line or you can type in GR. Once we do, we're gonna do, or we're gonna create a vertical grid line first. So here I'm adding a vertical grid line. Make sure it's 90 degrees and then click. And then we can now press escape and then escape again. After that, click on the grid line again and we could click on the copy command right here under modify or you could type co and then grab it and make sure you put it on the right side and it's not on the angle so as you can see, I'll make sure that there's no angle involved. So I'm just going to pull it on the right side and then type in 3245. So that's one. Let's do it again. But this time, make sure multiple is checked so that we could do multiple grid lines at the same time and we don't need to click on the copy command so this one type in 37 27 now that's where it's done we can now press escape and then escape again zoom out and then now we're going to grab everything and just move it on the middle. So we just want it to be centered. So I'm just centering it by moving and then holding on my left um, mouse button and then just dragging it. Then let's add in our horizontal. So type in GR. So that's for the grid line. Or you could go to architecture and then press this. Zoom in. We're going to go and create our horizontal. So from here on the right side to the left side, make sure you're not in an angle. And then click on the left side. As you can see, it started um, putting number four because it's unsequenced. What we need to do is press escape twice and then now click on the grid bubble. And then now, once you click it, you'll be able to edit. We're going to add in or we're going to type in A, capital A, and then press on the space. So once we do that, we can now type in CO. And then grab it. Make sure multiple is checked so that we could do multiple grid line. And then now that it's pulled down, make sure again that you're not in an angle. And then type in 54, 50. Next is. 26, 35, and then lastly, 65, 72. Then press escape and then escape. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in our dimensions but before that 
we need to clean up our lines. So we're still in the middle, so that's perfect. The reason that I want it in the middle is because of this elevation. So once we click our elevation, it will be shown whatever's inside of this or in view range of this. So if it's right here, you'll it won't be able to see it. But at least if it's in the middle, it will be shown. Obviously, you can extend those view, but we want to make sure that at least it's on the left side or right side or on the side of each of this. So you can also grab it and then extend it right here if you have a big floor plan. So what I'm going to clean up is the lines. I'm going to click one line. And as you can see here, there's a dash line. Those lines represent that once you move this, everything will move all together. So I'm going to move it. And as you can see, everything moved. This one, we could move it as well. Just a little bit like that. I'm giving some space here so that we could add in our dimensions later on. Now we're going to click on the vertical. I'm going to extend it a little bit as well so that we could add in dimension here. But on this side, we don't need this much. So we're going to pull it up like so. Again, right here. So that's perfect. If you want both um, grid bubble to be shown you just need to click on this one so individually you need to do that so that it will be shown on whatever um, ends you want so for me this is enough usually if i have a big floor plan i will turn that on or check it so that every um, chances that I have, I will be able to visualize where I am. Okay, so now let's, you can type in DI or you could click on this. Usually this part is at the top, but for me, I just move it right here. It's easier and everything will be shown on my screen. So now you can type in DI or just click this. And then I'm going to click on every grid line like so. And then I will put an overall. So that's good. I'm going to do the same thing right here. Every grid line first. And then an overall. So that's perfect. I'm happy with this. And then now we could press escape and then escape again. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to add an exterior wall. So we're going to click here under architecture. And most of the time, newer Revit has pre-installed walls that are included here. Um, what I have is a Revit 2020 and we have generic uh, wall, which doesn't have any uh, materials inside. But usually I use generic so that it's easier for me. I don't need to set up all the stuff. But if you have an earlier version or a newer version of Revit, what you can do is you can just select one of this, edit type, duplicate, and then put in exterior wall number one, press OK, edit type, and we just need to um, delete this. So I'm going to highlight the, the top, delete it. You, you won't be able to delete the core boundaries 
in between it and the core boundaries you cannot delete those so let's delete this and then what we could do here is we could just change this to a material that we want and for the thickness of the exterior wall let's set this to 150 press ok and then ok we want to make sure that this is connected from level 1 to level 2 and then the location line will be center line and chain is checked so now that we're ready to add our walls so let's go to A1 up to A3 go down to D3 go back here add to D2 around 200 so you can go up and then type in 200 and then go back to around D1 and go back here to A1 but we're gonna press escape and we're going to extend this to 400 okay so I'm assuming that so instead of here let's do it on this side so i'm gonna click here i'm going to type in cs which is the create similar so the reason that i'm doing that so that we could just um, reuse the wall that we just used so now type in 400 and then now close it up like so type in tr which is trim and extend which is under modify this icon and then let's trim this we need to trim this as well so to trim this so now we have our model ready so the exterior wall is done now let's go back to architecture click on wall we will edit this type and then duplicate now we're going to change this to interior wall and then you want to make sure that this is number one and then press ok and then ok and then actually we need to edit again because we want our thickness to be 100 only and then the material let's change this to something white so i'm gonna choose gypsum ballboard and then okay and then okay now we can add in our interior wall so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select it here And then so go to C3 and going back down to D2 but before we um, connect each other we need to align the faces right here so I'm gonna press AL I'm gonna align this to this face because this is a lot thinner and then now press escape and then you need to call, um, connect them all together so now that's connected we can then extend this all the way to c1 okay and then press escape and then click on the wall again type in cs create similar 
So that's a fast way of selecting or redoing whatever you have and then selecting it and then you'll be able to access those things again easily. You don't need to keep on clicking stuff. So that's easy. And then click on this one again and then CS. We're going to add in a wall onto this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a wall right here first. Press escape and then click on that wall. But instead of here, I want to change this to refer it right here. From here, I could select this temporary dimension and I will type in 2050. So it will be 2050 uh, from this wall. After that, we can now select this wall and extend it at the top here. So just extend that a little bit because this will be our kitchen and this will be the powder room area. Okay. So fridge will be here. It will be an L kitchen, L-shaped kitchen with an island. This will be the, um, the family room, dining room, where the stairs are, and the garage right here. Or we could make this one a carport. So depending on what we decide. And then here, will be the entrance so using our interior wall cs so i was able to click that and then we're gonna add in a wall right here this will be for our closet space here this will be around one one thousand and this is around 1500 so that's more than enough for this area so let's continue on the next video thank you for watching and i hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below